Hi there, welcome back to my channel. So today is the third video in my quick decluttering series where I show you how easy and quick it can be to declutter a little area of your home that may have been bugging you. If you haven't seen the previous videos that I've done, I'll link the playlist down below for you so you can go and check those out. I've decluttered my shoe rack and the top of this fridge behind me as well. And in this video, I'm back in my kitchen and I'm going to be decluttering the drawer that I keep all of my dried herbs and spices in. If you're new to my channel, my name's Mel. I do a lot of decluttering on my channel. I make weekly videos to help you simplify your home and simplify your life so that you have more time for things that are important to you. So if you're needing some decluttering motivation, then I'd love to have you click the red subscribe button down below and just keep watching. It can be really overwhelming when you've got a lot of areas in your home that you feel you don't have time to declutter or tidy up and you just, you're just sick of looking at them because they're a mess and you just don't know how to keep it organized and tidy. By breaking it down into smaller subcategories, you can make it really, really easy to declutter your home. So for instance, in the kitchen, there's the pantry, but the pantry can actually take quite a long time to declutter, particularly if it's been a very long time since you've last decluttered the pantry, or you've got a really large pantry. Now, my pantry is not too bad. It could use a bit of tidying up, but I have to leave and go pick up my son from school soon. So I'm just gonna concentrate on the drawer in my kitchen that holds all the dried herbs and spices. And I'm gonna worry about the rest later, whether or not I have time to do the pantry later on, or I further break it up into categories like canned goods, pastas, snacks, things like that. Really it's up to you depending on how much time you have. But the purpose of this series is to give you some quick decluttering inspiration so you can get some quick wins in your home straight away. Okay, so I present Exhibit A, the herbs and spices drawer. Now my husband's doing, or been doing quite a bit of cooking lately. He likes to try new recipes and with that means that he often buys new herbs and spices. So the drawer is getting quite full. It was neat the last time I decluttered my pantry. I'll link that video above for you in the information card if you're interested in checking that out. But today I'm just gonna concentrate on this drawer because that's all I've got time for right now. So there's my stopwatch. I am gonna set my stopwatch just so I can get an idea of approximately how long it takes me to do this. Okay, so I'm really pleased with that. That took less than 10 minutes and I definitely did not rush through that process and I cleaned the drawer out as well. I probably should have cleaned the outside of the drawer as well, but I didn't think about that. I'll give it a little wipe now. Off. 
and the handle as well because it gets a bit sticky. So that's done now, all done, and I'll show you what it looks like. So how good does that look? This is just a, a cutlery, like a cutlery or utensil tray that I had that fits in this drawer. It's not meant for spices, but I just found, this is the Master Foods brand, these just fit really well. And because they're actually too big for the width of these compartments, it actually means that they sit up on an angle and it's actually easier to get them out. So this wasn't meant for the spice, <laughs> spices and herbs at all. This tray but it just worked out perfect and I've just put the rest of the stuff down here on this part of it and put the Italian seasoning down the side I don't know why my husband used such a big bag for that but anyway it works in there and I'll show you what I've decluttered so up on the bench top this has actually expired but I actually do use paprika now it expired 18th of November 2018 I'm going to put that back in the drawer because it says best before and you know it's a dried spice it's fine so I actually use smoked paprika probably just overstocked of that one so I'm going to put this one back in the drawer I think this is for my husband's barbecue I just think it's better not to have it in the drawer where the kids can reach it I don't know what this stuff is obviously money I don't know what that is in there for I'll ask my husband and then I don't know what he's got pH test paper for and then he's got his kombucha recipe and he doesn't make kombucha anymore and then I found a double adapter which is a bit sticky it needs a clean and then I will put it with the other sort of cables and things like that so that goes another part of the house so all that's coming out of the drawer and then these are expired and I was thinking will I use these probably not these have expired and I definitely won't use these because um, in the case of one, two, three, four, I've got double ups. That expired back in January so it's probably still okay. It's May now. It's only coriander leaves but to be honest I don't use dry coriander leaves in anything and I've got one in the drawer already so um, I'm going to empty all these out and recycle the jars, put the jars in the recycling. Alright guys so there is another quick declutter, a quick wins idea for you to declutter something in your home. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, remember to subscribe by clicking on my face down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.